Hi, my name's Rachel and I'm the Living Seas Coordinator at Essex Wildlife Trust. The Essex Coastal Challenge is taking place during Marine Month this August and today I'm going to be exploring Essex Wildlife Trust Fingering Howick Nature Reserve, but by the sea. Come join me. Got Essex Wildlife Trust Fingering Ho Wick Nature Reserve, but this is an angle that you get from the sea. Fingering Ho is Essex Wildlife Trust's first nature reserve, and just over five years ago, the area behind me that you can see was actually flooded. It used to be low grade arable land. The wall, which is just up there, was breached to create 22 hectares of intertidal, intertidal habitat, which is basically the salt marsh and mudflats. And this is providing an amazing area for so many bird species. You can see and hear some behind me at the moment. Lots of them feeding at high tide and below the water there is such a variety of wildlife too. Don't be put off by these sediment rich murky waters. There are juvenile bass in there and adults, there's gobies, there's shore crabs, there's so much going on below the surface. And all of those were found in surveys we did at Fingering Ho just a couple of summers ago. So in just a few years, it's already providing that amazing nursery habitat for a variety of fish species. So we've gone a bit further up and here you can actually see where the sea wall was breached at Fingering Ho. So a big area, there's no landing in there. So that place is really, truly for wildlife and to protect it. And it would also be really dangerous to go in there anyway. These coastal habitats are nature-based solutions to climate change. It means we need to protect them, restore them and recreate them so they can help us to combat climate change. They're helping us to store carbon, they're helping us as a flood defence and so much more. Wildlife biodiversity, our habitats, they all need our help. If we help them, then they can help us. And why wouldn't we want to? Thanks for joining me at Fingering Ho Wick today. We want to hear how your Essex coastal challenges are going, so remember to share what you've been up to on social media.